This is Alex Harris for ESPL Boxing. Pleasure to be joined by Adam Smith. And Adam, it's a cold night tonight, and it's uh, but it's been a great night as well. And Callum Simpson has put on a performance there, and I suppose what have you made of the performance? It's been a fun night. It's been a great night. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I came when the sun was shining. It's it's a lot colder now. Um, but it was warmed up by the noise and the atmosphere in here in Oakwell tonight. 7,000 sounded a lot more, maybe more like 20 or 30. It was it was wonderful when Callum came into the ring and uh, set up fantastically here by by Boxer and, and, and Baz and ben, ben and the guys. And I know Ben's out in, in the States and has, has missed it, so he'll only be watching it on... Uh, uh, on, on screens I sent him a copy I, I was standing actually behind the ring walks and I, I sent him my angle of it it's um, it was great tonight um, Callum was uh, was really patient I thought he boxed well um, not not as good as he can be sometimes but I think Zach Shelley makes it awkward for you he's, he's just a difficult night's work for everybody he he pickpockets his way through he's a classy operator he knows the the ring inside and out yeah you know, he's just not pretty and and he can be he can be difficult to fight so um, yeah, Zach put everything in but but Callum dealt with it well tonight I think the edge in power um, the jab I think he was um, you know he was nice tonight nice and patient and, uh, and I like the fact that he was good in the last couple of rounds as well you know 12 rounds tough everyone asked him to step up and he did it wasn't as dramatic maybe as, uh, as I thought it could have been beforehand um, you know I've always thought Callum Simpson can become a star not just because of the fans but I think I like his technique uh, you know Kel Brook was here one of his heroes and he reminds me of a sort of bigger version of, of Kel and I didn't see I don't think you saw the best of Callum Simpson tonight but I don't think you were going to with Zach Shelley so a tough difficult fight the right guy won Callum by four or five rounds he's the British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion there's going to be some party in Barnsley tonight and uh, he's a lovely guy and I, I wish him well do you feel like in general overall he's dealt with the pressure really well absolutely and uh, yeah and I like the way he he dealt tonight as well in, in, in with the crowd and he didn't play up to them. He just sort of appreciated them after three or four rounds. And uh, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's got a maturity about him, Callum, and I think he'll learn even more from this. And uh, especially in with someone wise and, uh, and wily like uh, Zach Chelly is, uh, another intelligent guy out of the ring. And I tell you what, they'll swap a lot of stories. And I think Zach could be really helpful for, for, for Callum. I know he'll be upset tonight and he'll be looking for revenge and all the rest of it. but. You know, if Callum moves on and uh, and goes to another level, that could be a very useful guy to talk to about you know what he needs to work on because um, he's a he's a great boxing brain, Zach Shelley. Um, so look, it was unlucky for him tonight. Um, I thought Callum was good and um, you know he, he he performed and in front of that home that home crowd, it does have the pressure and uh, that's another box ticks for Callum Simpson. And he seems to call out Mark Jeffers and he says he wants to have multiple fights at the stadium again, but. You know, there are difficulties with making stadium fights as Lee Wood's experiencing at the moment. Do you feel like there could be difficulties in the future for Simpson in that aspect? Well, I think, look, he's, he's sold out a stand here. Why not the whole lot in a year's time? It, next summer, maybe he's fighting for a European or, or something else. I think he'll become a light heavyweight too. And uh, it'd be very interesting to see him and Ben Whitaker down the line. Uh, we look after at Summit, a guy called Kyle Davis, who's, who no one talks about really. He's 7 and 0. He's been sparring with Callum. Um, he'll be in the mix too. So there's some really good fights out there in that super middle light heavy division. Um, if he can stay at super middle for a while, if he can make the, the weight you know, comfortably, that's good. I'd like to see him have a couple of defenses of this title, stay at British level, you know, learn a little bit more, um, you know, spar a game with the likes of Batebiev and, and, you know, those sort of guys. And, and look, I, I think Callum is a, still a work in progress, but, you know, he's got the minerals, he's got the uh, the potential, he's got the talent, and it uh, looks like he's got the right head on his shoulders as well. So I think you're going to see him sell out a stadium again um, here. And, uh, yeah, I don't see any reason why not. We've seen, you know, Crystal Palace. There's been a couple of boxer stadium shows already this year um, you know we're going to see Wembley obviously in September um, I love a stadium show you know I'm here tonight because I thought it would be a really good fight and I'm here because it's a stadium show and I, I, I love those I think they're you know they're, they're unique and um, you know we, we, we want them so uh, yeah they're difficult to make they're difficult to, to organize but um, we should look forward to more especially with uh, this sort of fan base and Caroline Dubois, of course, another excellent love victory Caroline. for her. Do you, do you feel like she's kind of creating a name for herself individually now? Yes, I love Caroline Dubois. I think she's an absolute superstar in the making. Um, 
Yeah, I just think she's a fantastic fighter. I think she's one of the best inside fighters in female boxing. Um, I think she's developing brilliantly. She's beautiful with body shots. Her defense is tight. She's always working. You've got a nice jab. She, she totally dominated tonight with a knockdown uh, to boot as well. Caroline Dubois, um, I'll say it here in the cold of Barnsley, will be a world champion at more than one weight. I think she's that good. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm going to see my friend Katie Taylor in a couple of weeks. Um, uh, I wonder if that fight will ever materialize. Katie's got her own business to take care of. I know Caroline would love that. Maybe that will be the, the passing of the torch one day. Who knows? I'm sure Katie will back herself uh, as she does against anyone. But I think Caroline's only going one way, and that's up. And I just want to speak about one more fight, which is the Joe Laws, uh, Stephen McKennan one. And it was an amazing fight with an amazing first round. Did you kind of expect it to... Uh... As <laughs> my brother I love you come here nice to see you nice to see you do my Yorkshire York um, Johnny Nelson Johnny Nelson um, yeah uh, the fight between Laws and McCall a brilliant fight um, I mean a barroom brawl could have had it in the car park um, Joe Laws just brings you know thunderous action doesn't he just so much harder he, he's he, caught a little bit too much and uh, I think it was the right time to throw the towel in but you just couldn't count him out in that first round and he came back with that that knockdown it was dramatic the first round one of the great rounds I've seen in a long time and everybody was off their seats no one knew which way it was going and uh, yeah it was, a, it was an absolute firecracker wasn't it indeed it was and Adam I really appreciate your time thank you very much no problem at all time to watch the American uh, bill through the night so uh, yeah enjoy so, it thank you man thanks Adam thank Cheers. you take care guys you need to be drunk.